In this video, I'm going to go over one of the failure problems of older, well, uh, newer older MFM hard drives, in particular the linear actuator voice coil style MFM and RRL. RLL style drives like this one here this one is suffering from it too and the problem in this case is what's called servo track fade or servo fade and in other words the actual permanently laid in tracks that tell the positioner head positioner where to move the disc is faded to the point that the drive can no longer read them. And these older MFM and RLL drives normally use the dedicated platter, usually probably the top of the bottom platter, to actually store the servo information while the other disc were strictly data disc. And in this case, five heads. So that means there is a total of six heads on it with three platters yet only five of the heads were used for data and one head used for servo and this one here as I said the servo facts have faded to the point when you try to fire the thing up all you hear is real loud growling well more than normal for these voice coil drives and clattering the head assembly back and forth against the stops at each end of the tracks and when that happens on these there ain't much you can really do about it because there's, uh, you don't have the equipment to take and relay the servo tracks. So, it's, as hard drives go, is officially a paper rate stuff. Now, technically, I'm going to most likely save this, uh, well, what I'm going to do with it is take and part out the circuit board while leaving the platters and stuff intact as donor platters if another hard drive has any problem stuff uh, like the one I previously dealt with if it has any problems with the surface getting scuffed up I can take the platters out of this and use in another one because this one, as you can see, has thin film disc in it, which is a little bit more resistant to damage. So, the disc themselves, the platters themselves, will make a nice donor platters for a normal stepper motor drive. That's right. If you're putting back hard drives, the old ones like this for general historical purposes if you want to keep the ones that are most likely to work long term try to keep the stepper motor style because the voice coil type will sooner or later become unusable because of the servo motor uh, servo track fade because the servo tracks are just magnetic tracks laid on the disc which as you know will fade well they do fade with time and so the lifespan of these is pretty much baked into the cake even if you don't use them keep them in a nice dry environment they will cease to function 
after a specified time. While the stepper motor type does not have that inherent failure mode built into it, so stepper motors will probably be still functioning long after the last of these have hit the scrap heap. And that servo fade problem is the same problem I constantly run across on older IDE SCSI drives and stuff because just like this one here the servo tracks are non-replaceable non-re-recordable non-re-recordable so once they fade then the drive will stop functioning and so that means the lifespan is basically baked into the cake when these come off the factory production line. So, just remember that for keeping old drives for historical purposes or whatever. You can keep drives like these if you want. But after 10, 20, 30 years goes down the line, you better not expect them to continue to function anymore. Because you know what? They won't. And this one here, I'd power it up and let you hear the uh, clattering of it, but I've already pulled the control ROM or firmware of it. So. It's already officially become default. And for that, it gets pen of doom. Well, this pen is just as bad as the hard drive. Get another pen. Well, not technically pen, but marker. So, there goes another one to the parts pile. Take care. Take it easy.